August to your end month reading for January. I hope you friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, hit that big old like button and subscribe. And if you know someone who is a Capricorn Aquarius or this resonates with, go ahead and share this video. Get it out there. Okay, let's see what's going on with you, my friends. Best messages coming out. Ooh, look at that. Negative self-talk, releasing pain, forgiveness, and optimism. Trying to move past all of this and moving on from anything that has hurt you. So it looks like you are doing a great job through some kind of transition, some kind of pain, some kind of recovery. Um, you know, trying to keep the optimism alive right now. So let's see. Yes, got the sun coming out. Look at that big yes coming out. Optimism, optimism. Love it. It's almost like you had this huge rebirth, this turning of this leaf, you know, that is, you know what, I'm feeling a lot better than I was before. May have taken a while to get rid of those, those three swords, but it just feels like I pulled them out little by little and I'm feeling much better. The dawning of a new day is really what that is. Um, so let's see what's going on over here. You have the nine of pentacles. Some of you have freed yourself from a bad relationship um, that really hurt, really tore you down. Could have been a divorce. The three of swords is also a card of divorce. So however it is, it does look like you have freed yourself. You are a beautiful, independent person now. For others of you, it's just whatever was causing that pain and that suffering um, that made you feel like you were losing control um, over a situation that now has turned around in your favor um, and now you are feeling more self-sufficient um, than you were before. Really feeling like, you know what, I'm more comfortable and I'm finally feeling the fruits of my labor, um, which was a heavy labor to take on with the Three of Swords, <laughs> right? So however you want to see it, you definitely are in the winning spot. Um, yeah, it could have been the, there wasn't any right choice to the situation. There was a lot of confusion, maybe a lot of fear and worry about the situation. Um, could have had a lot of delays to the situation, but now you're feeling that release. So that's good, not feeling like you're at a crossroads anymore. Okay, let's see what's going on over here. Yeah, there was a lot of extra burdens and responsibilities that you were holding on to, you might even feel like you're still kind of carrying a little bit of this weight as you are kind of shifting and transforming over here um, due to, but it's almost like, you know what? I've got this though. As I am healing, I understand that I'm still, you know, keep putting up the good fight over here, still putting in all this hard work, but at least your optimism is changing because why? Because you're awakening to this change. You have a new phase that's coming in right? You're shifting, you're turning a, a new leaf for healthier things within yourself, right? So where there was disharmony and you might have felt like, you know what, there is no teamwork. In this situation, it feels like the only teamwork I have is I, you know, and there is no I in teamwork. It's either we're a team, there's more than one, but in this case, it's only I because I seem to be the only one that can get stuff done. Otherwise, it's dis disorganized chaos right now. So you might feel like there's a lot of people who are not being a team player at this moment. So you still might be carrying on those burdens, um, even though you're, everything is lightening up, right? So it's kind of like the shift from, you know what, my positivity is going this way, but I understand. I understand. There's an understanding, the understanding of the judgment that this is where I'm going to have to continue, though, to keep doing what I need to do. There's no standing down from this, but otherwise it won't get done. But I am going to release these three of swords. Yeah. I'm going to release these three of swords for this beautiful completion, for this beautiful new world, dancing with the universe in a different way because I have this great awakening that this is, you know what, this is my intuition saying this is what has to happen, but it's going to have to come from within myself to be able to pull these swords out and really, right, get away from all this. And if you have people who are negative talkers around you, um, you see what I'm saying? Then you're just going to release that and not even worry about what they're saying. You just keep doing you is pretty much what that is because you're not going to allow any self-limiting beliefs on any of this situation. No more. There it is again, releasing negative thoughts. For some of you, it's just somebody who's very negative around you who doesn't seem to be on your side, is not a team player in this situation, yet they also allow you to carry all the extra responsibilities and burdens. Um, but 
like I said, with the Great Awakening in the middle of the reading over here, this judgment, it's almost like I'm coming to this absolution of this is where I'm going to have to get myself healthy. This is where I'm feeling comfortable. I, ha I am self-sufficient and I understand things that are going on. I understand that they're not going to do these things. I understand what's going on. I'm not going to allow myself to get angry or upset about the situation. I see it from a new perspective and I'm understanding and releasing and freeing myself from their burdens. Wow. Oh, absolutely. So it's definitely turning this new leaf in the way that I'm looking at things because it just comes to the conclusion, like I said before, if I'm not doing it, nobody's going to do it. So, and I'm not going to allow that to happen anymore. So they're definitely finding your own independent way of doing things with your own independent thoughts as well, especially when it says self-limiting beliefs over here. I see you're releasing yourself from this cage. Three, you got the Three of Swords and the Eight of Swords, and it's like they've put you in this area of that could have also been confusion, right? And releasing that confusion, releasing those indecisions, releasing, oh, you know, there's no right choice, but the only right choice is for me to free myself and get that optimism, seeing myself growing. Ooh. Talk about taking a power stand. Yeah, chariot. It's the only way that I can pull myself into the right direction. If I want to stay on the direction and the path that I want to be on, then I'm going to carry on. Carry on, wayward sun. Let's go. And that's exactly what it is. You got the triumph on top of the, the sun over there. That's exactly what it is. Because this is where the victory and the success comes for yourself. Because you're saying, this is how am I going to blow my own horn? How am I going to toot my own horn with the justice over here if I don't do what I know needs to be done? I can't allow you to do those things anymore. Wow. Taking a step back, looking at it from a different point of view, looking at through my intuition says this is how things have to be. I'm sorry if you even see me pulling away, but that's the way it has to be. Wow. Otherwise the intentions will never be done. You're going to allow me to sit over here and suffer in silence. Wow. With the nine of swords, eight of swords, three of swords, no good. Yeah, not good. You're going to say, I'm just going to sit over here, suffer in silence as you're making me do all the work or you got me doing this or doing that. Take it how it resonates, right? But standing in your own truth. And you know what? It might not even be you even saying your own truth. You might not even speak this truth. You just may just take action and say, you know what? I'm going to ignore this situation and just do what I know I need to do for my nine of cups. Because it's going to end up as your own personal reward in the end. Why would it be your own personal reward in the end? Well, because it just has to start with self, Right? And it just feels like that's where you're getting your self-worth back. You're feeling like yourself again. It's all about self. You have the sun. It's all about how I'm feeling. So you know what? Sometimes I can't do things for other people, but I can definitely start with myself. So that, that way, all the negative things that you're saying, I can say, no, I'm going to positively move away from that. Bringing my own positivity. Bringing in my own forward movement. Doing things that are more hopeful. Things that I can see shine. Bringing in my dreams knowing that this is where I need to be. I'm not going to be happy if I'm always listening to you or I'm always allowing you to sword me. Letting you get under my skin, expecting you to do something that I know you're not going to do as you're allowing me to carry all the weight and not being a team player. So however it is, it is a general reading. Everybody's story is different, but definitely taking your power back over here as you're feeling so hopeful you have beautiful things coming in, beautiful new awakenings, beautiful new ideas, new steps and just taking action. It's almost like you intuitively see it and you're just going to go right at it with action. Why? Because of the wands. Because of the six of wands, you're saying this is where my victory is. My intuition says if I just do this and get it done, I don't even need to speak it. I'm just going to walk in my truth. I'm not going to, for some of you, you're not going to speak it. You might speak it later, but right now you're just saying I'm walking it, I'm doing it. And maybe it's because you know it might cause an, cause an argument, right? That'll just cause more three of swords. <laughs> so this is where you're going to dare to be different and take a different step. You're going to make a different step, taking a new route, detouring away from the situation to where you're going to maintain your self-worth and self-esteem through the situation. Wow. Yes, listen intently to understand where the blessings are coming and they're coming from within. 
wow as you're going to transform. Like I said, for some of you, you will. I mean, if they come up to you, I'm sure you'll speak your truth. I mean, that's the justice card. You know, with the justice and the judgment there, you know, you're definitely, you know, I could see that, right? I could see that, that, you know, pointing the finger at them and saying, you know, I'm, you know, I'm done with that. But the whole thing is, is, you know, if they were smart, they would just either help you out or just let you be. But having all these swords over here, it does feel like some of you might be working with kind of a smart ass um, who may have, you know what I'm saying? Who has always good comebacks. You know, what are you doing? Why are you doing that? Why would you? Dude, really? Seriously? So I, that, I, I see this kind of a smart aleck um, for some of you. Right, where they don't like that though, because then they feel like you're taking that control back. Because they want to be the inner critic. Oh. Okay. Well, because if they always have negative beliefs and you turn around with positive and optimism, <laughs> that's not going to go well, right? It's going to be, yeah, crunching at the two heads, right? Okay. And that was it for you, my friends. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.